Forget that A. All right, so we told you we'd make waffles, but then we had our AC unit go out and we didn't want to cook in the house. So it was delayed a little bit. Um, so we're gonna make um, we're gonna make waffles, which is uh, this recipe is one and a half cups of flour, um, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, and then one tablespoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. Oh, they're backwards. That's okay. Baking powder, salt. And we're just gonna pour it all in here. As you can see, there's no egg and there's no soy. Um, sorry for my people that are allergic to wheat. They do sell flour that's wheat free. You can make it the same way, just use that type of flour. And then, uh, sorry for the people who might be allergic to milk. They don't know how to do it without milk. There's, there's probably like almond milks. Um, almond milk, soy milk. Soy milk. Whatever coconut is, milk. Coconut milk. Yeah, things that you might not. Be or they can use water. To. Or or you could use water. Yeah, like when you're camping, you use water. All right, so we got this all together. We're gonna take the whisk. I basically just added all the ingredients together, and you go, you go to yourself. Wait, it's that easy to make waffles? Yep. So it's super cheap too, especially if you buy the big stuff at like Costco or Sam's Club. So now you can see it's just, it's finely grained and on the table, the way we like it. And now we're just gonna basically put in, um, this is a, a cup of milk, but normally it's a cup and a half uh, to two cups of milk. You just gonna get it till it's the right uh, consistency, kind of like spec mix outside. Yeah, just kidding. All right, so here we go. And we're gonna see how it does. So you can see that uh, one cup wasn't enough. So we got another cup. We're gonna put in like half of this and just see what it does. Normally it doesn't take more than two. Normally it takes about one and a half. And normally, I, because I'm making a video, it's a little different, but normally I would just slowly pour it in from the chug until it's the right consistency. And then I just add a little more flour you know, and I would just basically go back and forth until I had it the way I wanted it. They really should come up with something better than whisks. All right, and um, I'm going to put in the description, because normally what we do Oil. is we add... Okay, and this is how you make... Um, this part's kind of important. This is the difference. This is pancakes. Um, you're done. Okay. Now waffles, is this a tablespoon? Yep. Waffles, you just add three tablespoons of oil. And then you got waffles. One. Two. Three. And now you don't gotta spend like $40 on a bag mix of safe for everyone um, waffle mix. Because it's expensive. Once you start buying the stuff that's safe for people, you're going to double or triple your money that you're spending. Mm, you need more milk. Yep, it's looking like it does need more milk. And I'm going to pour it right onto the whisk. Alright, so we're just going to pour in a little bit more here. We're at about a cup and a half. And the consistency is just, what, just about what you want. And you save lots of money. Now, um, I'm just going to mention again that in the description, we have a bigger one where we just, we take all the dry ingredients in our house and we make a huge amount and then we put it in a tub. And then when somebody wants waffles, you just grab some, put it in a bowl, pour in your milk until it's the right consistency and throw it on the thing. And heck, that's great for camping too. So anyway, that's kind of that. Um, let's... Let's go ahead and take a look at um, putting it on the, the waffle maker. But let's also notice that we got strawberries here from Bountiful Baskets. And Bountiful Baskets is great. It's all it's in different uh, different states. And then for our uh, meat dessert, we got Henderson Hogs meat. That's some good stuff. All right, follow me over here. Let's let's cook this up. All right, so one question with a lot of people that are allergic to soy is, well, butter sticks to the thing. This sucks. I can't cook this. 
And I was really frustrated when I found out I was allergic to soy. Now I'm just going to turn my my meat candy over here. In the messy kitchen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Avocado oil spray. Yeah, and this brand. Uh, this brand is Chosen Foods. It's chemical and soy free. And if you look at the ingredients, this is what really got me and my wife going. Where is it? It's tiny. It's like... Right there. Ingredients. Avocado oil. That's it. Mm -hmm. They just put they a have, little spray. They have the coconut oil and um, canola. So you just spray it on just like you would a regular one. And the reason we like the spray over just using, say, the the bottle is you can spray the upper one easier. It's really hard to spray the upper one without a spray. Um, you could get a little spray thing and put it in and spray it on. Yes. But this is easier. All right, so what we're going to do here, and I always mess this up. I always put too much on. Basically, we're just going to put them in like this. Is that enough? No. No? Okay. I always don't put it. I always put too much, so that's good. Yeah. All right, so then you just kind of push it around here. Um, my wife usually uses measuring cups, and that's probably what I should have done. There's a certain measuring cup that fits well on this. Which one is it? Uh, I think it's a fourth. A fourth. Okay, now we're just going to close it. A fourth or a third. And I say we pause the video for a minute, and until they're done cooking, we'll show you one. So, one thing I didn't mention um, was how you cook these. If you've never cooked it before, what happens is you put it in, the light comes on, and almost everyone's like this. The light might be somewhere different, but the light comes on, on the machine, then the light goes off. Once the light goes off, then your waffles are done. And I gotta get a plate here. And let's get the fork. And there you have it. Waffles, egg-free, soy-free. Forget that egg.